Hey, welcome back. Um, I am pretty sure that a lot of us are thinking that there must be something that is moving in uh, these circuits when they're glowing. Um, but the only evidence that we have is light bulb is glowing. Um, we can't see that anything is moving or isn't moving. Um, so that feels to me like a key piece of evidence that we want to look for here. Um, now, it just so happens that in the early 1800s, about 200 years ago, a physics teacher by the name of Orsted just happened to notice that if, well, he just happened to have a compass lying uh, on a table. Uh, like right now you can see that uh, I am just to the north of this compass because uh, the red needle uh, points to the north of the earth and that red needle is pointing towards me. Um, so Orsted just happened to notice he had a wire laying uh, more or less uh, over that compass and he just happened to notice that when he uh, when he completed a circuit the compass needle moved you can see that when the lights came on there the compass needle turned and when I disconnect then the compass goes back to where it was so the compass needle turns when I have this circuit on and goes back to the way it was when the circuit is off. And so we can make some measurements about what direction the needle turns and how far the needle turns um, to make some comparisons uh, between these three wires in the circuit, like you see uh, drawn at the top of unit one activity four. Um, and something else that I think is very definitely worth pointing out here is that this is our first evidence. I've got this compass is lined up with the middle of this wire. So when I connect the circuit and the compass is under the middle of the wire, it turns. And that's our first real direct evidence that there is actually something happening in this wire. And that is, I think, a really important thing that we finally do see some evidence that there is something happening in the wire. We could guess at it earlier, but now we can see that that's true. So what I want to do is I'm going to make some measurements in the table on the right side of your page for Unit 1 Activity 4. I'm going to look at the direction and how far it turns for wire A, wire B, wire C. Now this black wire happens to be wire C. Now one important thing that I want to make sure that I'm careful about is when I move, if I move the compass all around, then the compass isn't just affected by the wires. The compass is also affected by the earth. And so what I'm seeing when I see how that compass is turned is the combined effect of both the earth and the compass. And so if I want to be able to understand the effect of just the wires on the compass, then it's important that I not change anything about Earth and what Earth is doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape this compass down in place. I am not going to move the compass at all. I'm just going to rotate the circuit around that compass. Um, that is very important for any future work that we do, that I rotate the compass. And also, like you can see here, I've got uh, the wires coiled up a little bit. I want to make a single loop because I want to make sure that the orientation of the wire is always the same, even as I rotate like the loop around. And so I don't want to have this twisted up at all. So. I am going to lay this across as well as I can, and I'm going to make a measurement, and you're going to record it on your page for Activity 4. So I connect this, and I can see that it has turned, oh, it looks to me like about 25 degrees maybe, uh, maybe in between 20 and 25 degrees, and the needle has rotated clockwise. 
So I'm going to rotate this. That was wire C. I'm going to just rotate this around. And I need to line it up with the circuit off. So here's wire B. Got it lined up. And it looks to me like it's just a little under 25 degrees. Uh, it went clockwise again. Um, and yeah, in between 20 and 25 degrees, I can't tell a difference between the first one and this current one. So somewhere between 20 to 25 degrees clockwise. Let's try wire A. Here I can see how I don't want to get this tangled up, so I want it to go this way. And lining up before I turn the circuit on. I see that it goes clockwise again. So all three of them were clockwise and it went somewhere between 20 and 25 degrees again. So all three of those, this is wire A that I'm on now. So wire A, wire B, and wire C all went clockwise, and they all were something more than 20, less than 25 degrees. Now, last thing that we wanna do, as you can see on, uh, your, uh, on your paper, what if I reverse the battery pack? So I'm just going to take this battery pack and I'm going to turn it around. So the wire that used to be connected to the spring is now connected to this little post at the end. And the wire that used to be connected to the post at the end is now connected to the spring. And I want to make sure I've got this lined up. Here is wire A, still wire A, all I did was turn around the battery pack. So this is still wire A. And now I see that it has moved counterclockwise. It moved the other direction. And it looks to me like it turned. I'm having a hard time checking my number here. and it was just a little bit off from that red dot. So it looks to me like about 20 degrees, but counterclockwise this time. It's about 20 degrees, but this time counterclockwise. And I'm gonna rotate, I'll just rotate back the other way. We'll do wire B and then we'll do wire C. So wire B, counterclockwise again, and about the same direction, or about the same amount, definitely the same direction. And again, looks like it's about 20 degrees because I realize now that I didn't have it perfectly lined up ever. Um, and so, it's a little bit farther than from the red dot, so about 20 degrees. And the last one now, wire C. Line that up. And counterclockwise, about the same amount. So what I'm seeing here 
is that I get for all three of the original directions, they all turned wire A, wire B, wire C, all turned clockwise. And then when I reversed the battery pack, they all turned counterclockwise. So an important question for you then is, what does this tell you about the direction of motion of whatever is moving in these wires? Also, I can see that, and my numbers I think are a little bit off because I'm just a little bit too far from the red dot. So my numbers are probably, I was thinking between 20 and 25 degrees, so probably closer to 20 because I'm a little bit off from where I thought I was. Um, but they were all the exact same amount. And then we could see that when I reversed the battery pack, we get about the same amount, but in the other direction. So all three wires have the same amount of compass deflection. And so the other key question here is, what does that tell you to know that the amount of whatever is happening in this wire, this wire, this wire, the amounts are all the same as each other in addition to the direction. So what does that mean for us? Those are our key questions. Bye.